Hi, this is Gene Bosler with Bartlett Tree Experts of Houston, Texas. And we're in a residential front yard in Cypress, Texas, looking at some young oak trees. And we're going to talk about root collars once again, similar to the root collars we discussed in Katy in an uh, earlier posting this week. So uh, we're going to start with this live oak. And we're going to compare it to this live oak. Now, I don't want to judge it too harshly. It wasn't planted at the same time, and it is about half the size. But we're looking at the color. And this one is very chlorotic. It's lime green in color, whereas this one is a lot darker. So soil nutrition is going to be a problem. We want to address soil nutrition. But let's talk about some of the other things that have an impact on tree health, which include the root collars. You can see that these root collars are buried with mounds of mulch. Tree rings are good. Mulch is good. Does it sound familiar? If you watched my previous posting, you will know that I am repeating myself. So let's take a quick look here at these disorders here at the base. The first question before we excavate it all, and you can see that I have excavated a little bit here on the right, is why is there a root here at all? The natural soil line is down here. So why as I excavate do I find all these roots? Including this one which was above grade. Well roots only grow if there is a medium for them to grow. So here we have this root here which was choking, uh, girdling up against the trunk and this root here and you can start to see why we have professionals do this and not homeowners do it themselves. Here's a nice girdling root right here. What's the proper way to prune that? Look at that. Ooh, I didn't even know that was there. This girdling root here. So I can see the mulch is composting and decomposing here beneath the surface, which is good. But we do we are ready for a fresh layer of mulch. And if you work your mulch, you'll get faster rate of decom decomposition. But this is not the part of the trunk, if you stand back, this is not the part of the trunk where we want a lot of root growth to occur. We want the root growth to occur farther away from the trunk where it's not going to girdle it. So mulch beds are good, but really if they're not big enough to encourage good root growth farther out beyond the, the, the trunk, then they're, they're generally limited in the amount of benefit that they can provide to the tree. But again, we do have considerably better soil here in the ring than we do over here where there's grass. Let's just, let's just try this and see what we get. I'm going to set my camera down for a second. So, I was able to penetrate about about 12 to 14 inches. Not great, but we're basically looking at clay. There's about two inches of, of topsoil here and the rest of it's clay. Blonde, which is generally indicative of poor soil organic content. Poor drainage, poor nutrition, poor nutrient content. And so again, we can see the benefits of mulch. I mean, we've got well, well over two inches of, of good material here. Now, some of this may have come from the nursery with the tree. But again, you can see some root collar disorders at the base. And 
I like to tell customers that tree teenagers are invincible. And so while this tree may appear healthy, give it time. This is going to be a key to improving the overall leaf color, um, overall leaf size, overall crown density, and overall health of the other one over there. I'm going to pause it for now since there's so much truck activity here making it hard for people to listen.